So the workshops here in Macaulay Place were all around exploring loss through a variety of creative methods. So we had journaling, haiku writing, singing, movement and conversation. And then each week there would be an overarching theme kind of tying all those things together. So it might be ritual or it might be reminiscence or it might be comforts or something that would tie all of those activities together. All to sort of gently facilitate exploration of loss in all its forms. When we were maybe worried about who would come to something that is described as exploring loss. A friend of ours who actually is a participant said to us, just trust that the right people will come. And we feel very lucky that definitely the right people came. And we're just so pleased yeah. that we were able to, to facilitate this, this experience for them. I think it's been like really, it's not just been a professional learning process for us. Like I feel like personally, I have just been nourished by it as well. I suppose it was an opportunity for me to to look after myself and to address things just relating to grief and loss and bereavement, yeah. I'm a very creative person anyway, so part of me came just to get me focused on something uh, because I was quite down. Part of me came to see what might come out of it, what might help me to express maybe some of the grief some of the sadness, uh, frustration, bitterness, resentment, anger, all of the different things that I had felt. But I think really why I came was to connect with people again. We, we actually spoke very little about our own personal loss. And that's not to say that it wasn't addressed. It was addressed, but it was more, it was more that we were given the tools to address it in our own space, in our own time. Sive and Sharon were absolutely marvellous. They got me thinking a bit differently and anything that does that is, is wonderful. I feel more comfortable in expressing how I feel and it was really coming here to this place and being put, not publicly, not forced to do it, but just put ideas, a new way of living into my head. And just it's just unlocked so much creatively and emotionally in me. I didn't realise until we came back, until we came here and started exploring our creative side again, how little of that I'd explored in the last two years. And that was a loss um, that I didn't acknowledge until I started the course. Just a, a safe, a safe space, you know, to to just express myself and not have to talk too much about it. I don't know anybody who wouldn't benefit from it. Irish Hospice Foundation have been absolutely fantastic to work with. We've had a lot of guidance. We did a lot of training workshops before we even began the program. But then we've also had sort of um, Zoom networking meetings between the seven projects that are going on, allowing us to feed back to each other to give each other ideas, to let each other know of any stumbling blocks that we've, we've uh, encountered. It's one of the most supported projects that we've ever been involved.